Cocaine T.O. Back at it again. Yeah, y'all updated me with Teofimo Lopez's latest rants and the stupid stuff that he goes around saying. And whatever he had to say, it's irrelevant. Or I'll get to it in another video. But I want y'all to notice something about Cocaine T.O. Okay? With all the dog whistling that Cocaine T.O. do, it's to no avail. He gets no benefit out of it. Meaning... The media pimps him just like they try to pimp and use everybody else. The difference is Teofimo Lopez does not receive a benefit from it. That's the only difference. You want to know why T.O. is so frustrated, why T.O. is so upset, why T.O.'s always crying, why T.O.'s always complaining, why T.O. is always playing victim, why T.O. is always pointing his finger at everybody but himself. Do you know why that is? T.O. is unhappy with his career. It's very open for everybody to see. He's unhappy with his career. Okay? T.O. Fimo Lopez is extremely jealous of what he likes to call the black American fighter. He's extremely jealous of them. Okay? This is one thing you need to notice about T.O. Unless T.O is insulting one of those black American fighters, what do you notice about Teofimo Lopez Jr.? What do you notice? Nobody cares what he says or what he's doing. So all that dog whistling don't transfer into views or popularity. They just use him for what he currently has to say for that time without keeping Terrence Crawford name in his mouth, without keeping Devin Haney's name in his mouth, Without keeping Javante Davis' name in his mouth, nobody cares to interview T.O. You ain't peeped at. Don't nobody care what he got going on. Nobody cares what he has to offer outside of talking crap about those individuals. That's all media uses him for because they're not interested in his career. They're not interested in his fights. They don't care nothing about him. And judging from that last showing that he just put on, which was horrible, although nobody said anything about it, that's a that's a double-edged sword. They, they, they didn't criticize him, and they didn't say nothing about it. So it's just like you don't exist. So when T.O. sits back and he looks at these black fighters getting all this attention, be it be positive or negative, you know what I'm saying, more than likely it's going to be negative, it's still way more attention than his career has garnered thus far. Okay? T.O. is jealous and he is highly upset. He's just too stupid to realize the only reason why they'll put him in front of a camera is to say something derogatory about Terrence Crawford. It's to say something derogatory about Devin Haney. Why? Because in boxing, you have a lot of bigots and racists, something that y'all was very hard to admit until Ryan Garcia came out the woodworks with what he's doing. Now none of y'all can't hide. Now we all know that this is an extremely prejudiced sport, but you already knew that before any of this happened. Y'all just like to hide behind no smoke screen. Then tell people like me, Bruce, you bring up race too much. You bring up this, you bring up, well what happens when Bruce is not uploading and he just plays the background and just let boxing play out? Y'all still have race problems and race issues and race this and race that. I'm not speaking. I'm not uploading. Okay? Like I said, I don't bring nothing up that ain't part of the game. And it's part of the game. But as far as T.O. goes, he's upset and he is miserable. His career is in the trash. And the only way it has some relevancy is if he's talking about a Terrence Bud Crawford. This. That's why he constantly do it. See how many interviews that you can get with T.O. where he don't bring those people up. And that and that interview he did got over 2,000 views. It don't exist. Don't nobody care about T.O. Okay? Don't. It's the same thing they use Ryan for. It's the same thing that they use Roley Romero for. And it seems like Roley has somewhat wised up. I don't know. You, you know what I'm saying? Like he realizes that now. But he had to be aware that he was doing it. But other than that, unless those guys are doing what I just said and talking about those names, you don't care nothing about them. Which lets me know that these black fighters are giving air and life to people's career. Otherwise, 
wouldn't even get noticed whether they was boxing, knocking, knocking people out or not. T.O. wants to desperately be recognized like Terrence Bud Crawford, Javante Tank Davis, and Devin Haney. Okay? But he can't get that recognition. And he can't understand why. I'm Latino. I'm using covert talk. I'm dog whistling. I'm hating on the black fighters. You know what I'm saying? Y'all love me for when I'm doing it. But as soon as I stop talking about them, y'all disappear. Y'all not watching my fights. Y'all don't care who I fight. Y'all. So T.O. is stuck talking about those guys okay somebody challenged T.O. and asked him to do five interviews where he don't mention none of those people's names those will be the lowest view videos that you see on YouTube thus far hands down guaranteed so T.O. is stuck because all that dog whistling posting he's supposed to get a benefit from that but he's not receiving the benefit and he just don't understand see T.O. figured out while he was climbing and doing his thing you know what i'm saying he let the canelo alvarez fan base get into his ear and he said oh i'm gonna play this same game the same people who got in ryan garcia's ear you know what i'm saying remember they wasn't messing with ryan garcia you know what i'm saying but ryan garcia uh, uh, appealed to the last demographic that he could appeal to and that was the biggest because he know boxing is so racist they may not support me for this they may not support me for that but shoot, if I talk about a black person, they'll definitely get behind me on this. And him, T.O., even Roley, you know what I'm saying? And the rest of y'all out there listen to it. Y'all all know this. But y'all like to play the dumb game. See, you don't get to play the dumb game over here. See, over here, reality gets dropped right in your lap. That's why y'all subscribe, unsubscribe, scribe, unsubscribe, scribe, unsubscribe, scribe. Because y'all sensitive is all shit. And y'all just can't be real about nothing. But T.O., that's what's wrong with T.O. You know what I'm saying? Let him lose his brain. Cocaine T.O. is already gone. He's already in the trash. Bob don't like him. We don't like him. Don't nobody like him. Don't nobody care about him. Don't nobody cares what the fuck T.O. is doing. And he's upset. I be Josh Taylor. <laughs> I be Lomachenko. Love me. Look at me. Look at me. Fuck Crawford. Fuck Devin Haney. Fuck them. They can keep the black fighters. What about me? What a punk. And he's going to have to keep playing that punk position. You know what I'm saying? You're forever going to be shining the shoes of Crawford, Javante, Tank Davis, and Devin Haney. Because without them, you ain't bout shit. And you need them to even be relevant. Matter of fact, when T.O. gets another fight, watch him keep one of those, one of those guys I met just named, watch him keep their name in his mouth because without that his fights would get no traction so don't mind cocaine to he's just doing what he only knows how to do which the only thing left for him to do you know what i'm saying and that's appeal to the scum of boxing because that's the only way he's going to be relevant and keep in mind to still mad he lost his creed three role to terence crawford <laughs> that's where you can keep the black fighters really came from you know what I'm saying? But notice he never talks about that. Y'all know, and nobody never asks him about that. Tio, I thought you was in the Creed movie. What happened? Isn't it strange nobody has asked him that? So Tio's just playing the back shadow to all these black fighters that people love to hate. You know what I'm saying? So don't mind him. He, he uh, he's playing his low position. Let him play that low position because there ain't no other place for him and don't nobody care. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, if it wasn't for the shit he says, would I even make a video about T.O.? That proves my point. Like, comment, subscribe. Bruce Vane, I'm out.